always made art. I've always painted, I've always painted human figures since I was a child. And um, I had a little bit of a detour in my adult life making work. I was undergrad, I was an art major and uh, made figurative art throughout my time in undergrad. And then um, I moved to New York and starting out as an artist in New York, fresh from school is extremely difficult because you have to pay your rent. And uh, so I started working by chance uh, as a handbag designer and I did that and painted at night, every night. One thing that I always tell students whenever I talk to students is that everything you need to know about the work that you have made and will make is already in you. It's The story is already written, you just have to find a way to pull it out and organize it in visual form. So I've spent a lot of time picking apart the background of where I grew up and my feelings towards femininity and the body and things that are grotesque and lovely and painful at the same time. Um, and that's really connected to my time growing up in the South where gender roles are very rigid and things like bows and pink and things that are delightful are always come with a side of pain. And I still love pearls and bows and things like that, but I mostly love them because I hate them. <laughs> and, um, and so all of that became this huge ball of yarn that I've been untangling in, in this work. I think there are two parts of, of the engagement. One is engaging with my work and connection to the other pieces around, um, and also to the, the prior show, the part one um, last year, which included lots of my friends. This um, collection includes many of my friends, people I haven't met, and other people who I know working um, right now whose work I just really admire. So I think having that context is really valuable to me and it's probably very valuable to viewers knowing that they get a slice out of someone's incredible vision of what's happening um, in the contemporary art world right now. And the other context is um, the idea of, of seeing work like that hanging in a museum that's um, for lack of a better word, like someone like me made it. And I would, I, I think if I was a young person, say walking in a museum, and I saw a piece that I felt connected with that I could imagine myself making one day, it could help spur on some excitement about art making or art collecting or what it means to be in a female body or a feminine body or any body at all. Mm -hmm.